You've met Yebzra Hail Marim from Ethiopia this week. She is a special case for the Herbie Fund. Born with a severe facial cleft, she's already undergone several highly complicated surgeries at Sick Kids Hospital. Out of necessity, these procedures have been done over a long period. This means she and mom have been away from home a long time. Camera supervisor Steve Bourne and I traveled to her Ethiopian home in April. This is a family with many challenges. Yebzra's father is missing an arm and a leg and he can't work. He was injured many years ago in an explosion from a bomb left over from the Second World War. He misses his little girl who, because her stay is a long one here, has been going to school and doing something she's never done before because of her deformity. Laugh and play with other children. We're coming to uh, the host family's residence where we're going to catch up with Yebzra and Mum. And we're going to do a little coffee ceremony, something traditionally Ethiopian. Ethiopian coffee. Yebs, how are you? Come here. Barbie! Barbie! Come and sit. That a girl. We're burning the house down. <laughs> Here's the coffee. What will you call her? Flower. Flower. Okay, I like that. That's very pretty. There. Look at all the Barbies. At this oh. point, Yebzra continues to recover from surgery and waiting for the next one. Barbie. Did you show your stitch? It came off, right? No. It's healing. Yeah. She's adjusting well to her stay in Canada, learning English, making friends, and even going to school. Once you've done all the colorings, we can cut out the eggs. She was really kind of alone here, very isolated. The surgeries were going really well. It's amazing that she could come to Canada and it could be funded. But all this time was being spent with adults and there weren't a lot of opportunities for her to play and interact with children. Oh. She's, she's really integrating well. She's very happy here. It's something that just happened very naturally. She needed to be with children. This is a school full of children and we're happy to have her here. Very nice. In total, Yevzra and her mom will have spent almost a year in Canada before the surgeries are completed and they can go home. While she recovers, Steve Bourne and I travel to Ethiopia where we meet the doctor who connected her with the Herbie Fund. I, I was very much delighted to call the mother and the father to inform them that this is really a chance for them. So when you found them and told them this yeah. was going to happen? They hugged me, you know, they were very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this is not me, this is Transforming Faces, this yeah. is Herbie Fan. That's Chris Forrest. Okay, yeah. Yakutet 12 Hospital in Addis Ababa is a far cry from the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. There are very complicated cases which we cannot do here and uh, to send abroad, uh, they are poor, they cannot afford. Uh, so Herbie Fund uh, is really very important. Are you happy? Yes. Yeah. You are? Yeah. You're a happy girl, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, Afsara is a lovely girl. Are you excited? Her father will be very, very happy to see this. Yeah, well, we're anxious to show yeah. it to him. You'll see yourself at uh, their home, maybe. Come on. Uh, this will be difficult. It will be difficult for her to readapt again. Mm -hmm. Yebzra's father has stayed behind in Ethiopia to care for her brother Abel. Yesterday was his birthday for us. Oh, See, happy that's birthday! It. That's it. We're at Yebzra's house now and uh, we've been invited in for a coffee ceremony. As you can see, the coffee is being poured. In the foreground is some incense to give the house a nice aroma. And the coffee has just been prepared and uh, now we're going to celebrate coffee. She was complaining that she's missing her dad and her brother. Right. And since she starts school, now she's, she's okay. Uh -huh. You know why she talks to me on the phone at a bit and then she said, I'm busy, I have to go. Uh, I have uh, some video I would like to show him. How are you? How are you? You called her Flower? Yes. Yes, that's a very pretty name for a pretty girl. I can't believe how much English you speak. You hardly spoke any English when you came here just a couple of months ago. Now you can't stop. Yak, yak, yak. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Dr. Forrest, when he asked her, Yapsara, what do you want me to do for you? She said, I want to make my nose good. It's me. So we'll be there together when you fall asleep, okay? 
Yevzra has one more major surgery to go. This time, Dr. Forrest will conduct a procedure to create a new nose to complete her facial transformation. Cleft is not really a single patient issue, it is a family issue. It's, you know, you cannot hide it, it is in the most visible part of your body. It's very traumatizing. Yeah. It's important to recognize that in the best of all worlds, this is an operation that should be done when somebody's finished growing. But I think we have a wonderful opportunity with the Avsara, given her geography and having to come to this country at this age to try and take advantage uh, of all of the goodwill that's been put together through transforming faces and also through you people uh, to try and help her. What happened to my daughter, like the birth defect, they contribute money to mm -hmm. fix her. At the bottom of my heart, I would say thank you. Thank you, Canada. So the preparation for the new nose for Yebzer has been done. The final step, the last step, takes place Monday. Steve Bourne and I will be there to record the process and we'll bring it to you. Tomorrow night, we check up on the Herbie kids you've met this week as they prepare to go back home. And something special tomorrow night, you're going to meet the doctor who physically brought Herbie Quinones to Toronto from New York in 1979. He's Ethiopian and has always wondered what happened to the little boy he looked after 32 years ago. If you'd like to donate to Herbie, the information's on your screen. And we hope to see you tomorrow in Dundas Square for the all-day City TV Herbie fundraiser.